Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Hyken, this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two Run, and we are beating the game as always with only two soldiers on the highest difficulty. Time for another <coughs> guerrilla ops. Uh, this time to neutralize the field commander. It's uh, labeled as very difficult. Uh, we only have 13 enemies, which kind of lets me to believe that we're probably going to fight against the Chosen. Um, and it's an all advent team elite officer, elite trooper, uh, trooper elite priest, uh, sectopod, heavy mech, and lancer. Um, quite uh, the display of force from uh, from their side. I think with uh, so many potential uh, mechanical units, it's safe to say we are going to use blue screen rounds. Um, we brought two completely new soldiers uh, in this time. And, well, not completely new, but uh, soldiers that we haven't seen for a while because uh, all of the primary soldiers are either engaged, recovering, uh, training, or um, are fatigued. So Mitch Mitchell, uh, the man with the mustache, and his uh, buddy Wildchild are going to rock the show this time. I wanted to um, also mix up our... Um, uh, team compositions quite uh, quite a bit to see in uh, within the end game uh, if other compositions also make sense. Uh, this time we're going in with a composition that we haven't seen so often, which is specialist plus grenadier. We just saw specialist plus um, <coughs> uh, plus assault, which worked quite well. The specialist plus ranger, sorry, um, which worked quite well. Uh, we regularly see. Um, the Grenadier plus uh, the Ranger, and that works uh, as well. So this year is probably going to be a good um, uh, team comp. Uh, I haven't yet um, used many team comps with Sniper plus X. Um, we have uh, tried using Sniper plus Ranger once, and that was okay-ish. Um, it feels that the Sniper really in the two-man run um, is a little bit too fragile to go for the front line and it's very very hard to keep one uh, person completely in the back specifically on timed missions so i'm not yet 100 percent sure what to think about uh, the uh, the sniper um, it's definitely a strong dps class and in a normal setup by far one of my favorite classes but in the two-man run it feels that um, it has its limitations it just doesn't synergize super well with other uh, with other uh, classes but maybe i'm i don't know uh, we, we are going to figure that out i, I want to try sniper plus um, uh, plus specialist probably one more time and maybe even sniper plus um, grenadier certainly not my first choices though Anyways, uh, so we know that's 13 enemies uh, and our target is ready to kill the commander. I guess if we could find the commander before losing our concealment, that would probably be the optimal scenario. Not sure though where we are going to find the enemies. And maybe we should engage once we at least know where the commander is. Affirmative, moving out. Hostile forces spotted. That's certainly not the commander so far. Just a normal advent uh, mm. Advent leader as well as a normal trooper, so Advent officer plus trooper. On the, move. the advantage of this combination to uh, maybe talk a little bit about uh, what why I'm excited to use this combination for the first time. In the high level, both of them have two action units. So um, the eight protocol specifically for um, the specialist, but also the salvo grenades. 
um, effectively give you two actions per round, <coughs> which is pretty convenient because we're effectively having four actions. The disadvantage of it is whenever you move with one of them, uh, it effectively cause, um, sacrifices the option to, to, to act twice, right? So we know that there's probably a patrol over here. Yeah, might as well move all the way up to here. I don't think that we're going to trigger anything. I will scout with Mitch because the salvo ability to uh, use grenades and then take shots is still a little bit better than, than his ability to aid protocol. That's another patrol. Oh, there we go. That's the commander. Perfect. Pretty much exactly what we were looking for. So this here could hit effectively everyone, which isn't the worst way to start, to be honest. Let's think it through, though. <coughs> Yeah, I think we can do that. Can't hide from this one. They found us. Trigger two packs, that's fine. And if we were to go for saturation fire, we would even hit all three of them. I like it. Keep in mind they only have one action. Okay. Saturation fire. To hit all three of them. What Let's go. Do? Well, theory was good. I would say in practice it didn't work out as we intended. So this here would almost. Uh, so this here would kill the trooper and get the other two down. Yeah, I think that's it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty extravagant in terms of using a lot of resources, but it also deals a lot of damage, is which is exactly what we need to do now. Let's finish the heavy mech. Worked like a charm. We're 
unmanned transport. The aliens are going to try and extract the general from So the these two are <coughs> ready to flee, but they have tactical analysis. Oh wow. They have tactical analysis, which makes it even a bit more difficult to hit them. Anyways, moving in. Hundred percent chance to kill one of them. We're going to heal ourselves up. Yeah, we don't have capacitator discharge, which would be the absolute phenomenal answer to the current situation. He does not have emplaceable either. We could use another grenade, but I think that would be a, again a bit extravagant. Instead, let us position behind for cover. He's slowly but surely moving away, which I really do not appreciate. Uh, plus, the overwatch makes it more difficult to get him, so maybe I was too quick in judging that we should use the grenade. Let's better be safe than sorry. I don't mind fighting without grenades. Yeah, we used a lot of uh, our <coughs> a lot of our uh, cooldowns just from the get go. I think now hunkering hunkering down, just getting cooldowns back and not triggering too many uh, packs at once is the right uh, play. Of course, the game proves me wrong. Now, a grenade would be the perfect answer for their position. Yeah, this here would be a nice uh, option in order to flank uh, the priest. We should really go and prioritize the priest here. Fortunately, the priest also is in probably the best position here, so... We need to be a little bit careful. The priest still can mind control. We have no protection against mind control. Moving too far in also wouldn't be potentially the best idea. Uh, we're a protocoling ourselves for threat assessment, and I would want to still take shots at the priest, although it's at a 50 50. Um, I'll get him next time. Mainly in the hopes of getting him down. There's the mind control I was talking about. There's another pack back here.
Well, and now things are starting to be a little bit uh, more difficult. We can't move because we're being pinned down here. We do have only bond level one. Oh, threat, threat assessment just ended. There's, oh, there's the sector port. We can't risk being, uh, being spotted out by the sector port. Um, so it's time to break line of sight. Sprint back into full cover. At best, we're going to be hit once. In this case, we're not going to be hit at all because that was a reloading. We're still mind controlled. So we're moving back into full cover, hunkering down. That's almost a 0% chance for him to hit. Okay. So we could take away this full cover, or we're trying with a 50 50 to, to get him down. I feel the full cover removal is the better choice here. Okay, if we aid protocol ourselves, we are still sending in the open, but the advantages we would count as if uh, we would have cover. Um, any movement from his side would trigger a reaction shot. And he would move because uh, the AI is in the open and he really doesn't like standing in the open, so he would at least move which means we could take a shot and still have a reaction shot and this here there is a chance to actually kill him either way we're going to play it safe good there is still the priest currently his cooldowns are reset Wildchild unfortunately has lost her armor. And there is the priest. Nice. That's an execute right away into sustenance. Yeah. Okay, it's strange. Um, I don't know where the last trooper was coming from. He certainly shouldn't have been here. I know there was a pack with the uh, with the sector pod, but that hasn't triggered so far. What I'm currently doing is I'm searching to see if there are additional enemies anywhere here. So far, it seems to be okay. This here removes all of the cover. Away. Hmm. 
which gives a threat uh, assessment over, which means we do have one reaction overward shot, and this here should be a kill. Okay, so far so good. There should be still a reaction overward shot against uh, the uh, priest here, who's going to move. Unfortunately, the sector port has just triggered, it seems. Oh my gosh. We need to kill the sector port with the explosion. We will also kill the priest. We do have very solid positioning here. And with blue screen rounds, we should be fine. Yeah, I was hoping for an execute. Didn't work out quite the way I wanted it to. Yeah, let's reload and kill the sector pot um, plus the priest. Oh, look at that. The priest was far enough away. That was a mistake. The Holy Warrior will now backfire on him. <clears throat> we just need to kill him and we get a 2 for 1. Do we have a stock here? We don't. Fortunately, he's in pretty heavy cover. Again, capacitator discharge would be perfect. 65% chance to hit him. I think that's the best we will get. I'm ready. Reloading and let's try to get the priest. Target eliminated. Good, nice little two for one. Completely changed the tide of the battle here. Reloading and let's get down the last uh, trooper. There's one more priest somewhere behind the lines. A little grenade. Superior hair trigger, that's good, I like it. Moving, out. Moving up. And let's kill this guy here. Target neutralized. Almost done. Just for completeness sake, we're topping off. On your order. Moving into cover. Moving to position. Come get some. 
Okay, pretty explosive mission, but our team was doing quite well. I mean, we used all of uh, the cooldowns right away, so that needs to be taken into consideration. It certainly has had its advantages and disadvantages. There's the priest, which again, I don't want to be mind controlled. Priest puts out the stasis, so uh, that's okay. Heading to that location. Another execute. don't like mind control specifically if we don't have mind shields Heading out. all right that probably should have been it so yeah couple of um, Clutcher situations in the second half uh, where we did not have any um, consumables left, but overall pretty straight, straightforward mission. Vicious criminals inflicted a sudden and unprovoked assault upon us today. May our thoughts be with the advent citizens we lost. I think May the tech team, <coughs> specialist plus uh, grenadier is something that could work. Certainly not the worst combination. Uh, my only concern with that combination is A, both of them have an advantage for basically waiting and not necessarily exploring, and B, as soon as <coughs> the um, as soon as uh, the consumables are gone, I'm not 100% sure how well it would perform in a, m a more difficult mission. Although this mission here was labeled to be very difficult. So I don't know. I guess overall an okay team. Gone to ground, uh, I don't know on the top uh, from the top of my head um, what that dark event entails. I will look it up. But certainly not bad to counter it. Um, we can improve their bond, thanks to the last mission. Uh, but first of all, they need to heal. There we go. Let's see what we can buy on the black market. I like the superior perception thing. Probably something that we're going to buy regardless because it is a really good um, PCS, although it had been nerfed in the latest patch I've uh, seen. The previous older versions of it gave plus one at uh, 21 perception, the newer ones uh, only give half of that. It's still nevertheless a really good PCS. I'm not even sure about our sergeant training at this stage. I think we are okay on the sergeant regiment. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sergeants. Yeah, I think that's more than enough. We don't need to continue with it. So 
So in case a low profile uh, mission comes up, we're we're well in shape to deal with that. Okay, we're well, still four more days until we get uh, the results of the last hunter, uh, the last chosen, the hunter. And in the meantime, I think we should gather some intel. For South Africa. Not much is happening on the globe uh, now, also with 3,000 supplies um, and enough alloys. We should be more than okay to deal with the current situation. There we go, we've um, found out about the gate, now let's analyze uh, the suit next. Storyline missions are progressing quite well, so that should be fi uh, fine. We might want to go somewhere else, I really don't want to be, uh, f uh, want to be scouted out by the UFO. Avenger plotting new course. Well, and of course, before we can finish the uh, Into the Fire mission, there's yet another uh, dark VIP mission, it seems. Extract the VIP. Oh, nice. Well, that looks like a difficult mission. But it also looks like one we will do, because it gives us additional intel, and uh, that's what we're currently lacking. Six more hours, and then we are also ready for uh, the invasion of um, the last chosen. But before we go any further, uh, let's fly, fly around for two more hours. I, I just want to get done with the covered ops mission. Zero hours, so Avenger plotting new course. now it should be done. There we go, finally. Okay. So we successfully infiltrated, uh, Eric Anderson got a plus one health and we are ready to go into his uh, stronghold. Let's double check the other missions that we do have available, a promotion. Plus one hit points, I really like that, plus mobility. So this here is awesome. Mobility is good, but an additional hit point for armor is really good. Uh, we do have aim, a promotion. Getting Praetor Mox is, sounds interesting as well, and this is what, I, what we were looking for. A nice little dodge plus 10 mission. Mobility plus one and vector rifles. Yeah, I think <clears throat> this one here is good as well. This one here is awesome. Just in terms of preparation because we want to kill the Chosen soon. Let's take a very, very close look at Hogbite. Besides his fear of mutants, with plus 10 to dodge, he would already have 100 dodge from the get-go, because he's starting with one 
of with one focus. So that'll pretty much solve the entirety of his uh, problems. I think that's straightforward. We should uh, get it and finally uh, finish him. Um, but we certainly can benefit from dodging as well. And one of the things that I learned, which completely blew my mind, here is uh, for the, uh, as a kind of reward for those who watch the videos until the end, here is a nice little uh, info that um, I've learned lately. If you are putting uh, two uh, operatives with a uh, bond of level 2 or higher together on a mission, it reduces the time that the mission takes. So this here is currently 8 days. If we can't put Hogbite onto it, never mind. So if we were to... Yeah, we can't find, put Hogbite onto it because it seems to be a skirmisher mission. Anyways, what I was about to say is it'll it'll speed it up quite a bit. Um, so we know. We, I mean, I can show it here maybe. So if we're putting Hogbite into here for the extra mobility, uh, it's currently eight days. And if we put Roby uh, in here, it reduces the days by one, which is cool. Little uh, feature just to con uh, consider. We should have done that much earlier, just to really uh, save many, many days. Um, I was always putting a random guy with him on uh, onto the mission, which was probably not the right call in hindsight. But yeah, you learn something every day. Um, I like the damage output. But I also like the heavy armor um, advantage. So we're probably starting with the heavy armor uh, portion. Um, and put our dream team onto this mission, reducing it to seven days. Put a scientist on it as well. So there are no risks. Good. So seven more days, um, which means <clears throat> we still have plenty time to to um, finish the stronghold. And as for the other mission, I will now come up with probably Renman and Roby, uh, uh, Renman and uh, Zirkim to do another VIP mission. Thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure having you. Um, if you liked what you've seen from the content. Um, consider giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. It's always uh, always much appreciated. And um, yeah, even if it's just I like to see Renman and Zirkim in the next mission, um, that's a comment which I would appreciate. Anyways, um, onwards we go for the next mission. See you all in three days. Bye bye.